few things about the altar. A very common word in magical practice as well as in religious experiences. And we can very well use it for this uh, oneness with the divine practice. For your work in this lesson, which means to explore the realm of the fire element first, it is good that you use the symbolic representations of the fire element there. And you put these utensils onto your table. You can call this table now an altar, which you place outside of your protective circle, because that's where you draw the energy in it. So first, I'll draw onto the table a triangle, and uh, this confines basically and defines the space where the helpful fire elementals can materialize. Higher order energies, spirits, whatever you call it, I call it elementals, I personify it now because the personification is part of this uh, higher order energy complex. Charge the triangle with the idea of retaining the elemental energies which can manifest in it and then put so that it contains it, that, that they cannot get out. And then put some objects into the triangle which represent the energies with which you are going to connect. In your case, the energies from the realm or realms of the fire element. And the simplest thing which symbolizes fire is uh, fire, a burning candle. You can also add a small triangle as, as a geo, re, geometric shape, which can represent or symbolize the fire element. Or you can use the Hebrew letter U and put a wand with it. The wand also represents your will or the fire element. And as you know, your will is a manifestation of this fire element within yourself. Your will connects with the causal plane, which too is a representation of the fire element, just another word for it. And uh, if you are familiar with the Judeo-Christian Kabbalah, you, you can add the Hebrew letter Yud. Very nice addition to it. And keep in your mind the awareness that this is your outer realm, and that this outer realm will draw then the energies from the cosmic realms of the fire element as soon as you light the candle. This is a mapping that you have. The reality is, of course, much vaster, and yet this mapping helps you enter this reality. And when you light the candle, you can then speak out something to the effect of drawing energies from the realms of the fire element. For instance, I'm lighting this candle. Its flame is bringing the energies of fire into this space. A very powerful method is to establish a custom-tailored mantra which will instantly draw fire energies into your realm. This mantra can be a very individual one for you that you create. You can establish this mantra with a mantra generator, perhaps of the rune, uh, rune mantra, uh, mantra generator which I have invented. Uh, and uh, another thing that you can do now, the next thing after you have set it up, is build up power in your outer realm. Perceive yourself drawing fire energy from the universe and projecting it into the triangle. And do this practice as follows. Have your left arm stretched out away from the triangle, palm up, and the right arm points towards the triangle to the and breathe slowly, consciously, uh, knowledge of breathing techniques such as yoga is a good advantage. Now, while you inhale, visualize the fire energy from the universe enter your body through the palm of your left hand. And then when you exhale, project this energy into the triangle with the help of your right hand. You can give this energy a red color. 
it, that's your, your imagination again doing it. Project more and more red into the triangle as you keep breathing and proceed, continue until you feel good about the amount of fire energy which you have accumulated in the triangle. And you know that such an accumulation of fire energy in the triangle certainly will enhance your experience of the fire element and the realms of your will, the will representing fire. 